Hi, this is Raj from MR Sports Cars. Here I've got a 2009 Porsche 911 Carrera S Cabriolet. It's finished in Arctic Silver Metallic. And it's got black hood, which comes down with the remote. So I'll just open that now. So that's a really nice little feature of these cars. There's the buttons in the car, but also on the key, if you hold down the button, it will do that for you. The interior is very striking. It's a special order Carrera red extended leather. So that's red carpet dash seats, obviously. And it looks really fantastic. It's also got the um, option for the uh, center console to be colored in the same as the exterior, so Arctic silver. It's got the multifunction steering wheel, uh, cruise control there. Um, it's also got uh, the steering wheel heating, so if I press that button, you'll see. Now, the other great option on this car is actually the seats because they are the heated and cooled seats. So um, when you turn it on, you've got heating and cooling, so they're ventilated. So they actually blow through the, the holes in the seat, air conditioning, so they keep you really cool. But he's also got the embossed headrest, which is another great option, especially for, an, for a, a convertible. Um, it has bows. So it has the, um, I think it's 11 speakers in this car, 445 watts amplified system. Um, it obviously has sat nav, so that's all running there. Has uh, climate control, and it also has PASM because it's an S model, so that comes as standard on S models, but it has that and that works as it should. And it's got the universal audio interface, which you can use to plug in um, music players. And even uh, you can get a Bluetooth unit that sort of lets you uh, Bluetooth stream as well as the phone module so you can have your phone calls and everything managed through the car system you can answer them on the on the steering wheel there with the buttons and it amplifies it, um, it plays it all the sound of your phone through the through the stereo and obviously it's got a built-in microphone as well but it really is in great condition there's the rear seats these fold down as well so you can have a little sort of bench instead of having the seats. Now the wheels are the 19 inch optional Carrera S wheels. And I've just had these refurbished so they look, what well, they are absolutely flawless. All four have been refurbished um, in a color my alloy wheel refurbers call um, BBS silver, which is very very bright and it has a lot it has a metallic in it so they really do it makes a feature of the wheels. There's the front boot has my stuff in there but it also has the um, wind deflector which is a fold up system folds into that bag and once you set it up in the car it stops buffeting even at over 70 miles an hour. I'll just show you the battery. The battery's a new battery I've had that fitted. XI Premium, which is a very good battery. It has all of its original tools and everything. They are there, I just won't get them out now. Paint works in good condition as well. Now the lights are very special as well. They're the PDLS dynamic cornering lights. So they, this bezel here actually rotates round corners and it's speed variable as well. So it's designed to help you see round corners. And I'll show you the engine. So this is a 997 Gen 2 being a 2009. So it has 385 horsepower. It's a 3.8 as it says there, and it's direct fuel injection. So these were the revised, completely revised design engines from sort of end of 2008 in the Gen 2 cars, um, which eradicated all of the issues with 
earlier cars, such as uh, ball scoring, which is where you get um, the piston rings um, rubbing against the cylinder walls and eventually leading to the engine to fail. Um, IMS issues, which is another big issue where the basically the, um, some of the bearings fail and it causes a catastrophic failure of the engine. All of these is issues were engineered out in these later cars. And you can tell it's a later car, a couple of things. One is it says direct fuel injection there, but also it has the rear lights, they point here, so they're not a squared off edge that, that carries on. So it's a redesigned rear bumper and rear lights, and these are LEDs. The previous generation didn't have LED rear lights. And at the front, you can tell it's a Gen 2 car because it has these daylight running lights built into the front lights. And this is a different shape to um, the, Gen, the Gen 1 cars. And the other key thing is, is that the, the PDK box, which this one is optioned with, seven speed automatic, wasn't available on the Gen 1 cars. It was a Tiptronic five speed. Um, this is a dual clutch system. The Tiptronic was a sort of traditional automatic. So it's very, it's not as responsive as a PDK double clutch system, which you find in things like the Golf, Audis, that kind of thing. It's super quick, can be running full manual, full auto, or a combination of the two. The other way to tell whether a car is a Gen 2 911, uh, 997 Gen 2 versus 997 Gen 1 is this panel here on a Gen 1 car is sort of like a dark grey effect. Um, it obviously doesn't have a touch screen either, it's all just through the buttons and it doesn't have um, the Bluetooth connection uh, for your phone. So this has not only the SIM card slot. Uh, which is there but it also allows you to connect via Bluetooth the earlier cars with the grey console it doesn't allow you to use Bluetooth unless someone's fitted uh, an aftermarket module to allow you to do that so that's all like there um, as I said it's in fantastic condition all round roof works as it should it's got a heated glass rear screen I think the the combination of silver black and red goes very well Hopefully you agree as well, but yeah, it looks really, really striking car. Just do a little 360. I just love these convertible 911s. So usable because the the hoods are double insulated, so they eradicate most road noise. They're fully waterproof, obviously, and they 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 can actually go up at up to I think it's around. It's, it's over 30 miles an hour um, so you can actually use that while on the move you don't have to stop at the side of the road to put it up or to put it down you can just use the buttons which are there in the center to control it on the fly so yeah so that's the 2009 Porsche 911 Carrera S Cabriolet with a PDK box um, it's covered just over 42,000 miles so very low mileage for the year and um, it's just recently been serviced as well so if you're interested in this car, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thanks for watching.